15th century, there was an electricity, no vehicles, no trains, no phones, and no computers. This story begins in Spain, in the Basque region. Inigo is a young man from a good and well-to-do family who lives in a castle called Loyola. He is nine years old. He fights for many 
leader with great vigor. But boom! Everything came to a stop for invasion. A killer ball hits him and breaks his knee. He falls down and feels the great pain. The French wins the battle, but the defeated soldier is buried and taken care of.
pilgrim staff. Filled with the same vigor and fire in his heart to serve a Lord, Ignatius decides to continue his pilgrimage. He stops in a village called Matesa. Here he takes time to rest and reflect alone and sometimes with others. He is living a life of consolation and desolation.
It is also a moment where he shares his experience to those who would like to listen about the spiritual exercises. This exercise has been helping many people to return to the Lord and live according to His ways. A few friends began to join in and many people come to know about Ignatius of Living. Then Ignatius leaves for Paris to study. It is during this time that he meets Peter Miller and Francis Xavier.